Section 10.3 is areas of parallelograms and trapezoids. I can find the areas of parallelograms and trapezoids. That's our learning target and what we're sh shooting for here today. The base of a parallelogram is the length of any of its sides. The height of the parallelogram is the perpendicular distance between the side whose length is the base and the opposite side. So if we were to draw a line straight up from the base, how far it takes us to get to its parallel side, that's its height. Uh, so there's a diagram on page 512 that shows that along with showing how we change a parallelogram into a rectangle in order to find the area. So if you have more questions on that, check out page 521. Area of a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is the product of the base B and height H. Remember, rectangles are parallelograms as well, so we say length times width because there we have right angles. Uh, but in a parallelogram, we don't always have right angles. So our height might be different. So for example, we can get to a rectangle if we take and we cut off this little piece right here and put it over here. So um, that's how they come up with our formula. Okay. Um, our base is, in this case, our bottom and our height is here. It's not our slant, okay, it's how tall it is going straight up from base to its parallel side. So the base of a parallelogram is five inches. The height is twice the base. Find the area of the parallelogram. So we're looking for area of a parallelogram, which is A equals base times height. Here it tells us base is five. So for B, I'm gonna plug in a five. It also tells us the height is twice the base, which means H is means equals, twice means two times our base. And here again, we know that our base is five. This gives me a height of two times five, which is 10 inches. So I can plug that in for H. And because I'm multiplying in between here, I multiply here as well and get an area of 50 and it's inches and anytime we're finding area it's inches squared okay so when we do problems like these there's four things you need in order to get all your points you need to write down your formula you need to plug in your values you need to give me the answer you need to give me the correct label okay so those four things we need every time uh, with trapezoids, the bases of a trapezoid are the lengths of its parallel sides. The height of the trapezoid is the perpendicular distance between the sides whose lengths are the bases. So uh, it's the height straight up from one parallel line to the next. Straight up. Perpendicular. 90 degree. There's a diagram on page 522 that shows us along with the way that we can find the area. Uh, notice the area of a parallelogram in the diagram is twice the area of either trapezoid. Um, so if you're checking out that diagram there, uh, take note of that. The area of a trapezoid is one half the product of the sum of the two bases and the height. So when we take half the sum of the two bases, we're finding the average of those two bases, guys. Uh, so we add them up and divide by how many there are. There's two. So two bases, add them up, divide by how many there are, two. K is the same as taking half times base one plus base two, and then multiplying by height. So in example two, there's a diagram here that shows one of the trapezoids in a quilt design. So on the side of the page, on page 522, on the left side, there's a picture of the quilt, and this is one of the trapezoids in that quilt. Now we wanna find the area of the trapezoid. So I'm gonna use my formula, area equals half, times base one plus base two times height. Guys, remember that these ones and twos uh, just tell us they're like a label. We don't do anything with the one and the two. They just tell us that they're two different bases. So we don't plug the same number in. So here, uh, my bases are my parallel sides. So nine and four are my bases. I'm gonna plug those in. And my height is how far it is from one base to the other. 
my perpendicular distance there, they have the right angle to show it's perpendicular. So my height is 2.5. Uh, so if you're going to type this all in your calculator at once, that's fine. You just need to remember to put your parentheses here. Otherwise, we can simplify using PEMDAS. Uh, 9 plus 4 goes inside my parentheses first, which is 13. So I'm going to take half times 13 times 2.5. And I'm going to get 16.25. And this is centimeters, and anytime we find area, it's squared. It's centimeters times centimeters, centimeters squared. So again, four things we need. We need our formula. We need to plug in our numbers. We need our final answer and the correct final label. Feel free to pause here and give this a try. Uh, number one is, uh, says to find the area of the parallelogram or trapezoid. In number one here, we have a parallelogram. We have two sets of parallel sides. These are parallel, and so are my sides. So I'm going to take area equals base times height. There's my formula. Now I can start plugging in my variables, my values. My base is 6. My height is 5. So I plugged them into my formula. Uh, now we can simplify. 6 times 5 is 30. My label is feet, and because it's feet times feet, we get feet squared. Area is always squared. And again, I needed the four things. I needed my formula, plugging in my numbers, my number answer, my answer label. Feel free to give two a try. Okay, let's try this number two. I had the wrong picture there, but I fixed it now. Uh, if we look here, it's a trapezoid. We only have one set of parallel sides. So we're going to find the area of the trapezoid, which is one half times, in parentheses, my base one plus base two. So my total base length times my height. Uh, here, my bases are those two parallel sides. So my bases are three and nine. Those go inside the parentheses and we add them together. And then we multiply by our height, which here is that 8.5 meters. It's perpendicular to my parallel sides. It tells me how far apart those parallel sides are. Uh, so we can simplify a little bit here if we wanted to. In our parentheses, according to PEMDAS, we do that first. We get 12. Uh, then we can multiply. Half of 12 is 6 times 8.5 gives me 51. And again, it's meters times meters, so area is always squared as far as our label goes. Meters squared. So again, make sure we have our formula, where we plugged in our numbers, our final number answer, and our answer label. And three, you can give a try as well if you'd like. Uh, again, if we're looking here, we still have a trapezoid, only one set of parallel sides. So I'm going to use my formula, A equals half times base 1 plus base 2 times my height. I'm going to plug in my bases. They're my two parallel sides. So here I have 13 and 22. They go in for my bases. I still have that half. And now I can plug in my height as well. It's my distance between those parallel sides, perpendicular distance and it's 16. So here again you can either type this all in your calculator right away or you can simplify according to PEMDAS. If I simplify according to PEMDAS I have half of parentheses first so we get 35. You can either leave that in parentheses to show multiplication or just put times either way. Uh, and here I'm gonna get 280 I think. Yeah, uh, 280, and our label is inches times inches, so inches squared. Again, the things we need, formula, plugging in our numbers, answer, label. Example 3 says the height of a trapezoid is 6 meters. One of the bases is 8 meters. The area of the trapezoid is 54 square meters. Find the other base. So here, um, we're talking about a trapezoid, first of all. 
and it tells us the area. So we're going to start off with our area of a trapezoid formula. A equals half times base 1 plus base 2 times height. Let's plug in the values we know. It says the height is 6 meters, so h is going to be 6. One of the bases is 8, so I'm going to plug 8 in for a base. And the area is 54, so instead of a, I'm going to write 54. It says find the other base, so we need to know what another base is. It says find the base, that means that stays our variable. So we can do this uh, to find our base a couple different ways. We can either uh, simplify both sides first, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, I have a half times parentheses and a six times parentheses. So we can distribute both of those in. Um, or we can rewrite it so that we have all of our non parentheses terms first. Remember, we can rewrite multiplication in any order. We can commute them, rewrite it in any order. I moved them. So now, half of 6 we can do, which is 3. Now, I'm going to get rid of my parentheses by distributing. 3 times 8 is 24. And 3 times b is 3b. Now, that both sides are simple so I can get them, I can solve. So we're being added by 24, so I'm going to get rid of it by subtracting. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to both. Now b is being multiplied, so I'm going to get rid of it by dividing. And 30 divided by 3 is 10. So 10, we still have to label meters, is my second base, my other base. Uh, we also could have gotten rid of multiplication by dividing, so I could have divided by 6, got rid of multiplying by a half by multiplying by 2, subtracted the 8, and gone that way. Um, so there's a lot of different ways we could have done this problem. Um, and as long as you're following the rules for solving equations, uh, you'll be fine. So 10 meters is what we should have gotten there. Uh, I'm going to finish the next one in another video. I don't think I'm going to have time to get it done. So I'm going to stop here, and we'll do another video.